Hi and welcome to the Ninja Outreach tutorial. My name is Aris and today we are going to talk about how you can build backlinks to your recently published infographic using Ninja Outreach. Right here in front of me is the guide and I have included it in the description of this video so you can check it out later on and maybe even bookmark it for future reference. So let's begin. There are two types of campaigns that you can actually do here. One is you can try the traditional link building where you can ask people to link to your infographic if their post is relevant to your infographic and if their post will if their post is going to get uh, more value because you you were added as a resources in their post then that's uh, the type of link building that people usually do and the other type of um, link building that we will do here is the guest graphics it's similar to a guest post except that it requires less amount of effort in the sense that you are not writing a thousand word to a thousand five hundred word article to submit to, the, to those blogs or websites you are you are actually writing an introduction to the infographic which is usually just 300 to 500 words you just need to find websites who published an infographic in the past and pitch your infographic to them so to start with let's try the promotion opportunities this is actually where you can find all your leads it's a database of blogs and websites that we have in ninja outreach and you can do the search using simple keywords for example ask yourself this what's the topic of your infographic okay, for example if your infographic is about um, SEO marketing or SEO tips um, technical SEO tips or something like that then the general topic would be SEO tips and if I use that in Ninja Outreach, I will get these results. It's grayed out because I have added all these results in one of my lists earlier to prepare for the outreach that we will and that I'm going to show you later on. However, these are the types of result. Th these are the results that you're going to get. So what are these? These are articles that are about SEO tips. It's important that you check each and every one of these articles to see if they qualify. Now, how will they not qualify at all? If they're an infographic, don't include them. What you're looking um, to get, what you're looking for in these leads is that these needs to be content or articles that doesn't have, an, that is not an infographic. So it's just a useful um, text type of content which, uh, which, which has images in it so that you can be mentioned as an additional resource that would add more value to the post itself. That's exactly the approach that you need to do in here in order to be successful in your infographic link building campaign. So if we go to the next page, um, you can see that these, uh, these leads haven't been added yet. So I'm going to show you how to add them in the list. Six fundamental SEO tips to rank for your website. This one has a checkbox over to the left the same as all of the leads if you click that then you have it means that you have selected that lead and if you click on save all you will have the option to add that particular lead or add the first 50, uh, the 50 search results in here or add the first 5000 search results in this case i'm just going to add um, this one lead and you have the option to create a new list in the process but this time i'm going to simply add this one lead and I click on save so I've added it into the existing list that I have and then we have a bunch of leads in here that we need to go through a bunch of articles about SEO tips so if your topic is about SEO then you have a gold mine of leads in here otherwise if your topic is fitness still the same let's try weight loss in here weight loss weight loss tips actually, actually with an S so we tried weight loss tips as a keyword. If your infographic is about weight loss, then you're searching for weight loss tips, um, articles wherein you can get a link from. So you just need to um, populate them. And these are all the leads that we have, blogs who publish articles around weight loss. The same process applies, you just need to save it all. But this time, if we're looking for guest posting opportunity or guest graphic opportunity, what we need to do is we need to use the filter, which is right here. You click that filter 
and under all featured pages click on the drop down and select infographics and these are all the websites which has which has published an infographic in the past there are or, over 1000 so they have infographics in here they have infographics in here as well infographics yep so we have over 1000 leads for our guest posting campaign or guest graphic campaign what we want to do what we want to do is we want to save them all in the list so just click on the save all button in here and then create a new list in the process or save it to an existing list now after finding all those leads the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a template in the template we are going to use in the template that I have created earlier this template is included in the guide as well you can check it out later if you want it's a two-part template where in the first part you're actually asking for permission from the blog owner so that you can send them the link it's really useful um, setting it up like this because when you ask permission to someone you're at you are actually trying to start a conversation rather than just sending them the link right on the first email if you ask them uh, uh, for permission then there's a chance that there there's a likely chance that they will reply they, they can say sure send it over and you'd know that they're interested because they replied and then if you're looking at the template right here it's um, tailored for the SEO infographic that or SEO leads SEO infographic leads that I've curated earlier and then once they reply you can then send them the second template which not just ask them um, well not just passively ask them to link to the infographic or share the infographic but also actively ask them if you can write a mini guest post for your infographic that you they they can publish on their site so that's that's actually something that's going to make the work easier for them if you write the guest post then it adds even more value because you have the post all for yourself you're not just a link in the post you have the entire content all for yourself and this will be better in terms of um, building your brand exposure because it's all you in there you publish it so there that's how you create the template but oh additionally let me show you if you are going to create a template from scratch and you want to use your own template just simply create the click the create template button at the top left type the template name the subject and the message in here and you have the option to choose all these um, custom fields specifically the name uh, the page title and the notes if you want like if you'd like to add notes to each of these leads the next thing that we want to discuss is the auto sending so just simply head over to outreach mode hover your mouse pointer at it and then click on auto sending and on this page uh, click schedule a campaign and once the page loads at the top you will have the option to select the list that you want to send emails to I'm going to use SEO tips infographics and then the email if you haven't integrated your email check the guide in the description of this video I've added how you can integrate it how you can integrate your email using ninja outreach also the template that we want to use which is the um, infographic template and then after that select how many emails you would like to send per day let's say I'd like to send uh, 15 per day I have the option to send it now or send it later simply choose the days when you want to send it from the time and the date also you have the option to add up to two follow-up emails um, you can check the leads in here just to see if you miss anything and it looks like every everything is good to go it has a first name and a custom field for the page title but because we search for the page title and this the promotion opportunity so it's all good if something is not right in there you will see this check leads button become red and you have to fix it for example if a lead has a missing name you need to um, add that in there before you can or you, you can either fix that there or you can exclude the lead from your outreach and then when you're ready you simply click on launch campaign which is right in here that is essentially how you find link building leads for your infographic so you can build more backlinks to it and that's and that is how you can create a template and that's also how you can schedule an automated campaign 
If you still have any questions, simply head over to um, ninjaoutreach.com forward slash contact or click the uh, chat bubble over to the right of your Ninja Outreach screen to reach out to us and we will reply as soon as we can. Again, my name is Aris and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a nice day.